so now uh, you have learned uh, how this uh, Kitaev chain is related to the lattice quantum power model, which we call the, uh, the quantum anomalous power state. So uh, in summary, what we see is that when you have a lower dimensional topological state, when you drive it to a critical point, then you get a massless state. So this is how we understand massless states as critical points between massive states. And once you have get these massless states, there are non-trivial ways to couple them and get higher dimensional uh, topological states. And another important information we learned from uh, this class is that the quantum anomalous house state itself, uh, that means that the quantum Hall state, the quantum Hall conductance can be realized in a lattice model with full lattice translation symmetry without any uh, external magnetic field. So uh, this is one example of the quantum anomalous Hall model, and uh, there are other models, for example, the Haldane model, which you will learn later in this course. And, and uh, the common feature of these models is that you don't have Landau levels, electrons are moving around in the system, but uh, the, the, there is a gap, the block is an insulator, but there are chiral eddy states on the boundary. The chiral eddy states cannot exist uh, by itself in one dimension. As you see, in the one dimensional chain model, uh, there is always left mover and right mover. This is a very general principle that it's not possible to have only left mover in the system. So uh, the only way to realize only left mover is on the boundary of a higher dimensional state. And this is exactly, this is a very general relation between forbidden states in a lower dimension and the non-trivial topological states in higher dimension. You will see later uh, similar examples in other states such as uh, quantum spin Hall states. So, uh, and we also discussed that there is this uh, critical point between quantum Hall state and trivial state. The same kind of critical point exists in the ordinary quantum Hall state, but uh, there it's uh, less transparent what happened at the critical point. In this topological uh, quantum anomalous Hall model, you can see clearly that when I tune the system to a critical point by making a computation between interchain coupling and intrachain coupling, then uh, the critical point itself is a massless Dirac fermion in two dimensions. So then uh, that uh, Dirac fermion uh, actually describes a lot of uh, uh, critical behaviors uh, in the quantum power system. And uh, also it allows you to go, go on with this construction and uh, uh, couple these uh, critical states together and form a higher dimensional topological state. So uh, in the end, I just want to emphasize this model, which we call lattice Dirac model. So uh, we have shown these by pictures. If you write down the Hamiltonian, you start by Kitaev chain and couple them, then uh, the, you will get a model in the momentum space because it's translating environment. You get a two-dimensional Hamiltonian, and the Hamiltonian has two bands. There are these, these two bands here. The Hamiltonian has two bands, and uh, um, it, the Hamiltonian looks like this, where you write using poly matrices, and uh, you have this uh, sine k terms, which are like lattice version of these linear k terms, the, the linear in partial derivative terms in the Dirac model, and uh, you have these cosine k terms, which is a regularized mass. So I'm emphasizing this model because uh, Dirac models can be used as prototype models for all the free fermion topological states. It plays a particularly important role. Although we are not saying that uh, uh, all the topological states have to be described by Dirac model, you have many other models, many other uh, realistic systems uh, described by the system, but the Dirac model is uh, particularly nice because it's the same form of model where you obtain by a lattice version of the famous Dirac equation. Then in any dimensions, then you can get a theory description of all the different topological states.